I've been using Unreal Engine since 2015. Over the years, I've tried many different plugins to extend the functionality of the editor and to increase productivity. This video is meant to highlight some of my favorite editor-only plugins. This is not a sponsored video. This plugin will check if your assets are properly named. It's useful if you're planning on selling asset packs on the marketplace or if you're collaborating on a project. As a solo developer, I'm not too worried about naming conventions. However, linter can also add tooltips to function inputs and outputs. So I have this function with a single input called new health and it just says integer when I hover over it. To add a tooltip, type at param in the description field, space and the name of the input or output, space and the tooltip text. Now if I hover over the input, you can see my custom tooltip. It's important that your inputs and outputs don't contain spaces or it won't work. You can also right-click on a blueprint to add tooltips in a separate window. Linter will also check if there are any blueprint compile errors and warnings. Unfortunately, this plugin hasn't been updated to the latest UE4 version yet, but it's free, so... This plugin does exactly what it says. It tries to compile all your blueprints and checks for any warnings and errors. Unreal Engine will warn you if there are any blueprint errors when you hit play, but only if the blueprint needs to be loaded in memory, or if it has already been loaded. When I click play, there are no warning messages, even though this blueprint has compile errors. Now that the blueprint has been loaded, Unreal Engine will warn me about the compile errors. To be honest, I don't use this plugin very often, but when I do, it saves me a lot of time especially when I upgrade my project to a more recent engine version. I can quickly check and make sure that the upgrade didn't break any blueprints or find and fix them if it did. Linter does this for free, but I decided to include check all blueprints compile because it's up to date and in my experience, paid plugins are more likely to receive future engine compatibility updates. This plugin can help you find unused assets in your project, which you can then delete to save space. There are several alternatives on the marketplace, but what I like about this one is that it seamlessly integrates into the editor. All you have to do is toggle the filter and you can see all the unused assets directly in the content browser. No need to use a separate window and it doesn't occupy the main toolbar. Unreal Engine already comes with a similar filter called not used in any level and this can be useful, however, it does not care if the asset is referenced anywhere else. So if I try to delete this material, UE4 won't let me do it safely because it's used by this blueprint. Unused assets filter checks if the asset can be deleted safely. Mesh Tool is a lightweight 3D modeling software inside Unreal Engine, or at least that's how I see it. You can create new models, edit existing ones, unwrap UVs, change pivot point, add or remove material slots, and more. You can create simple and complex objects without ever leaving the editor. UV unwrapping might be a bit time consuming for more complex models, in which case you might be better off exporting the model to unwrap it in a 3D modeling software of your choice. It's the most expensive plugin on this list at 50 bucks, so you need to consider if it's worth it to you, especially since there is a free Blender to UE4 plugin, which is not the same as modeling directly in the editor, but it comes close. To me, it's definitely worth the price. I use it quite often to quickly create low poly models with an instant feel for the true scale. I might make a more in-depth video about Mesh Tool, specifically how I use it for my own project. Let me know if that's something you're interested in. Sometimes I see a plugin on the marketplace and think this should have been a part of the engine, like the unused assets filter. It's not the case with Node Graph Assistant, simply because I couldn't even imagine such a feature in my wildest dreams. This thing. This eighth wonder of the world will automatically connect nodes for you or disconnect them without breaking the wire. You can cut off wires, no need to alt-click the pin anymore. And you don't need to be a sniper to connect wires. 
This might be less useful to C++ developers, but if you use blueprints or the material editor often, then this will save you a lot of time. This is usually the first plugin I install whenever I start a new project and the only one I would truly miss if it stopped receiving updates.